Hi, this is Dave Curtis from Lance's Products. Wanted to do a short little video on setting up a double plugging scenario with our Lance's dome head style of plugs. First thing you need to understand is when you're using uh, plugs in a double plugging scenario, you definitely want to have a dome head front plug that has the extra alternative uh, ports running through it so you can have that secondary inflation line that would be an isolated inflation to inflate the back plug. When you're doing double plugging as well, the one thing you also need to know is when you hook up the plugs is to have them tethered together to make sure if one plug tries to uh, lose air that it's not going to go down the line that you'll at least have it tethered to hold it into position. So I want to sort of show you the steps of how to put this all together and if you just follow along, I think you'll uh, see that this is a real simple process. Okay, just a quick recap on the items that you would need to handle double plugging. Most importantly, when you're doing double plugging, you just need to make sure that you are using a dome head front plug with the secondary inflation ports. So, you would start out with your red inflation, which would be your first hose to connect, which is going to inflate this plug. You have your secondary inflation, which is actually the readback port that we normally do if we're using it for testing. But in this application, we're going to use it to be able to inflate the back plug. Make sure that you've got your three quarter inch port completely blocked off. If you're using a front plug for the back section of this, also make sure you have your three quarter and quarter inch ports blocked here as well. So now, knowing that you've got one inflation line specifically for this plug, this inflation line now is going to specifically be for the back plug. You're going to tether it together with a short hose section and make sure that you've got your plugs tethered. I've made up two other tethering cables to make sure that, again, how easy this could be to keep the plugs in case one or the other loses pressure, that the other one's going to hold it into place so you don't lose it going down the line. So this basically is the configuration you need to be able to set up a double plug. Again, one inflation hose specifically set for this front plug and a second inflation hose which is isolated through to be able to handle the inflation of the back plug. Thanks again for taking the time to watch. Uh, through some of the training videos that we've done, we want to make sure that you take note to follow all safety precautions and procedures when handling pipe plugs or pipe testing equipment. Make sure you're also following any regulations, whether it be uh, city, state, or county, and follow the guidelines of your confined space entries. So thank you again for taking the time to watch our video and we look forward to you having a safe day and completing your project correctly.